So how do microbes actually acquire resistance or build resistance to metals, or copper and specifically? Well, there's a number of different mechanisms. So remember, copper can, if it gets inside the cell, it becomes, it, it's highly toxic. Uh, it also likes to interact with the membrane, which is on the outside of the cell. So not surprisingly, microbes have evolved the mechanisms to be able to prevent it from getting inside the cell. Uh, so what they can do is they can produce proteins on the outside of the cell, which will bind to that copper and disallow it from interacting with the membrane itself. The copper also, if it does get inside the cell, there's small proteins which can bind that copper and kind of just buffer it, sequester it, and not allow it to, per to interact with different cellular macromolecules. Uh, another mechanism is if copper is in the cytosol, they can, they can produce pumps that'll pump that copper outside of the cell. And uh, more or less, the addition of all these different things, the addition of buffering the cytosol, preventing copper from interacting with macromolecules, pumping copper to the outside of the cell if it does get in the cell, and binding the copper so it can't interact with the membrane, more or less can prevent the organism from succumbing to a copper intoxication.